YouTube and my beasts, welcome to Big DB's Gaming. I am Big D and today we are going to court. This is the People vs Sledgehammer Games. Crimes Against Gaming. This court is now in session. Okay everyone, I'm going to be looking at why this gaming studio should either be fired for making any more Call of Duty games or praised by us the people. Let's start at the very beginning. Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, they first got together while working at EA in 2005 working on 007 from Russia with Love, with Condry as director and Schofield as executive producer. The collaborations carried forward to a franchise very close to my heart and that is Dead Space and in my opinion it is the best horror franchise in the history of gaming, without a doubt. The two men have complementary skills and similar backgrounds. They were both raised in middle class backgrounds. Both fathers were also in uh, the construction business and after founding Sledgehammer Games in July 2009, Schofield and Condry made Activision a proposal. They would attempt to replicate their success with Dead Space with a third person spin-off of the Call of Duty franchise. Stop it. Get some help. Definitely, Michael. But anyway, Activision sat on their proposal for weeks until they welcomed Condre and Schofield into the Activision fold. They accepted their offer, and why wouldn't they? You better yell! Show me the money! Now that's a little background on our suspects, but let's look at the positives. Exhibit A, their first game with Activision Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It received positive reviews from the critics upon release. The new advanced movement was described as a welcome shift for the Call of Duty franchise. Advanced Warfare lies in 7th place on the Call of Duty sales chart with over 21 million units sold worldwide and their second game Call of Duty World War 2 made over 500 million dollars within the first 3 days. And in December it was confirmed that the game had generated over a billion in revenue making it the highest grossing console game of the year and of this year January 2018 Call of Duty World War 2 has reached 20.7 million players over all platforms that's very close to Advanced Warfare's total achievements Sledgehammer Games should be proud of. But that alone can't save Sledgehammer's bacon. The only other thing that Sledgehammer Games has got right on this year's Call of Duty was boots on the ground. Unfortunately, the negatives really do outweigh the positives and that is why I am calling your honor for Sledgehammer Games to be fired. Yes, Activision happy fat cats are purring with over a billion to share out between them. It's us, the people who are suffering. The people who have bought Call of Duty World War II are unhappy with their purchase. So let's start with the negatives. Headquarters didn't work straight away off the bat with over a month before it got sorted. What's the point of having a private beta test if you're not going to use the data you have received from it? Score streaks are very expensive and very underwhelming, almost pointless, which concludes with the other section that I want to talk about, Your Honor. Frustration, frustration from the players because they can't even earn the score streaks. <coughs> Without using requisitions, especially if you are an average gamer. They took away our usual pick system for our classes and gave us the division class setup which in my opinion does not work effectively. 
Things that were promised to be fixed in the last patch are still not working. For example, their spectating glitch. I sat there for almost 15 seconds and I wasn't even myself. We also only got 9 maps on release and recently the new DLC map pack has been released. And guess what guys, we not only got one remake, we actually got two because Valkyrie is really Detroit from Advanced Warfare and they still haven't admitted to this. Take a look for yourself. It just shows you how lazy this studio is, not to mention the new items which have been put into the supply drops, something Nero Cinema touched on on his recent video. Basically, Sledgehammer Games have put corning cards that you already have, repackaged them with a gold rim around them. How sleazy and lazy is that? We are paying for the same corning cards again, guys. Crimes against gaming? My beast, this is it right here. Even the world's largest Call of Duty YouTuber, LEA doesn't even play the game and he was super hyped for it. It just shows you that this game is doomed. He even goes on to say that he hopes Treyarch smash it with this year's Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Shh, shh, oh sorry, sorry spoilers, I can't say no more. It also took Michael Condre almost two months to really communicate with us, the players, via all social media. So with all that said, Your Honor, I call for Sledgehammer Games to be fired and a new studio appointed. Like Epic Games who are smashing it out of the ballpark with Fortnite and they are constantly in communication with their community and adding new things to their game constantly. Okay, their DLC is a bit of a whopping expense but you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. I just hope the jury can come to some kind of conclusion and we get a fantastic result at the end of it. Okay guys, we're not really in the courtroom, but I feel if we were in a courtroom and this really was about crimes against gaming from Sledgehammer Games, then basically guys, they haven't done a lot for us. Okay, they're giving us Dead Space and I've got to say, and I have already in the video, that I really loved it. It's probably the best franchise I have ever played for the horror genre and if they remaster it, I will definitely bring it to uh, the channel. But basically, Sledgehammer Games have made Advanced Warfare and that was okay. It still had skill-based matchmaking in that and Call of Duty World War 2 has it as well. That is the frustration, you're playing against players who are the, the exact same skill as you and you just can't get on that uh, streak. Sometimes you can, uh, but 9 times out of 10 you can't. So a lot of players, like myself, and I'm not saying I'm a great gamer at all, I'm just the average gamer. It is so frustrating, uh, frustrating and that is why I made this video really. I was standing, standing at work and I just thought, you know what, I want to take these guys to court. I want to see what the people think. Because if I was in charge of Activision, I would I would fire them. I really would, because they've been lazy with their supply drops. We're now paying for the same calling cards because they've got a gold rim around it. It just is diabolical and it is not right. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to say my piece, see what my YouTube uh, uh, subscribers think about it, and, and let's start a conversation. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had fun with the video, a little bit of facts uh, at the very beginning, all the way down to the very, very end. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Smash that thumbs up button if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon on another video. Peace, man.